But first, a Riga appreciation moment. I go back to Latvia. I bypass Riga and I take it for granted. But for an afternoon, this time I pour myself into it. Before taking my first ever Soviet era train out into the countryside where the temperature builds, the air stops and summer solstice is on its way. Oh cool man, look at this beautiful Uppe, this beautiful river. Let's go to the jetty. Oh no, well, we won't be doing that. In anticipation of Ligur, the market in the town nearby, Valmera, is going off. Slowly, slowly these days, I'm able to make out more of what's going on around me. Where previously the sounds of Latvian had sounded like boiling water. This market has a little bit of everything. Big potatoes, medium potatoes, tiny potatoes, strawberries, and... Well, those plates are nice. And indeed, they were. Shout out to Zemus Malmetsa. These plates are beautiful and I now get to eat off art. I also bought some of those tiny potatoes, but I'm not blind to why this market exists right now. Flowers. So many flowers, foraged and found all for one simple purpose. Ligor, Yani. What it's about, well, let me explain in about 30 seconds. Ligor is a holiday taking place on or just after the longest day of the year, celebrating renewal of life and fertility. Ligor has got a few traditions, fire, flower crowns, ferns, fertility, and food. Few things I was about to tick off, except for the fern part. Stop the clock. To explain the euphemism, you've got to go into the forest with your lover, find a fern flower which magically binds the couple, and they fornicate in the forest. I did not fornicate in the forest. There are bears and wolves and badgers and all manner of things that are capable of ripping my face off, let alone other parts of my body that I really would like to keep attached. We spent the day making flower and orzor crowns, composed of the nature around us. Bound tightly by their stalks, the blooming ends left on display. A wreath signifying abundance, beauty and fertility. And while those were in production, I made a flower crown of my own on my new plate. For the party later that night, I made pork, thyme, walnut and cranberry meatballs. And to test them out, I made a little snack with horseradish, mustard, and sunflower seed pesto. Think of it as a primer for later. And later came very quickly. Deep in the Latvian countryside, with the sun flirting with the horizon, the party was in full swing. Drinks, celebrations of the year and shashliks. This guy had pork shashliks on the go, marinated in onion, garlic, salt and pepper. But this was only a small sample. You see that bucket? There were five more of those. This party was due to go on for days. And I'll freely admit that I just do not have the stamina for that sort of party. By this stage it was too dark to see the feast around us, but I ate myself stupid. The embers of the shashlik's fire became low, flickers were reignited. The flames growing over an old dunny. people watching an old toilet burn. <laughs> As the toilet bit the dust we moved on, moving down the dusky country roads towards the sound of music emanating from over the trees somewhere. Another legal party. That's amazing. Where this guy, famous for rewriting popular songs entirely in Latvian, was at it.
This turkey has translated Gangnam Style from Korean to Latvian. I think that's pretty genius. It's 3 a.m. now. The light is building and soon it is daytime. Sun cleanses our hangovers and food nourishes the soul. I'm on cooking duties. It's pork burgers and shushlicks burgers. Store bought because I can't really be bothered. But it's a first time cooking burgers over a janky fire. I don't really recommend this technique as a way of cooking burgers unless the fire is absolutely raging. And perhaps I should have uh, cooked my burgers over a burning toilet. They were still delicious though, and Latvian pickles made them sing. There never seems to be a day where you're not heading to the river for some reason, along a dirt path out for a swim. Calm and relaxing, and then a mate turns up with his boat. I'm sitting at the front, and it's meant to be fairly well balanced, but no, you can't slow down. <laughs> Water cascading over the lip of the boat, almost drowning us in the process. I had to bail that out with a bolt. Mm. I think that was my fault. I'm too moved too fat. And we wind down in a nearby lake. The calmness of it all. Lucas, did you piss here? We had a warm patch. Feels like someone peed here. And despite the potential piss, this is the sort of lifestyle I think we all strive for. One that continues to evade us, or most of us at least. Next up, a road trip through Latvia, the different side. <laughs>